This is the uh, TCAP practice test for grade 7, the math section, question number 44. Lauren's first cell phone bill of $72.75 included an activation fee of 36 bucks and a charge of 25 cents a minute uh, for each minute that she used. This situation is represented by the equation below where x represents the number of minutes used. That's a lot of talk and then they give you an equation, right? My suggestion always is if you find an equation somewhere in a problem, you note it somehow, like underline it, I'm going to highlight it. There it is. That's important to me. You're going to use it, otherwise they wouldn't give it to you in most cases. Now, according to her cell phone bill, how many minutes did Lauren use in the first month? There's a couple ways that we can go about doing this. The first is uh, to solve the equation, which is very easy to do. First step, of course, is just to draw your line. And then in this case, I have a variable term, or a number with a variable, and then a constant term, which would be a number by itself, equal to another number. This is parties over in my universe. Uh, when you have the party at your house, you have your friends show up, you have your friends of friends. If you haven't seen this video, you know it's, it's on the YouTube channel. Um, but if you have seen it, you're, you're good to go. Anyway, at the party, you have your friends and you have your friends of friends. The friends will help you clean up, so you want to keep them for a while when the party's over. But your friends of friends will just babble on about unimportant things, so you want to get rid of them. If you have a friend, they are close to you at a party. So the number on the same side of the line as the X, you would be the most important part. Uh, is the thing you get rid of first on the same side of the line that's furthest away. So the 25 is touching X, so they're close. What we need to get do is, is get rid of this plus 36. In order to get rid of plus 36, I need to subtract. And if I do it on one side, I'm going to do it on the other as well. So I the plus 36 minus 36, the reason I did it was to eliminate that term because 36 minus 36 is 0. So I'm going to bring down this. I can't express to you how important, and how, much, how important it is to write a few things down. It will make your life much less frustrating. You live in the calculator or something or just get lazy. That's a problem. So I'm going to do this subtraction, end up with 36.75. And now it looks so much like a 2 because I was a doofus and wrote a 2 instead of a 7. So I'm going to rewrite that part there. Now. I'm at finish it step. I've got 0.25 times x. If I need to eliminate something, I need to use the opposite operation. And the opposite of multiply is divide, so I'm going to divide by 0.25. And 36.75 divided by 0.25 is equal to 147 minutes on our cell phone that month, which seems like a lot. That's like two hours, but it's really not. Um, you know, for somebody who has to pay for each minute. You could have a, a bunch of one, two-minute calls and you get up to that much in a, in a month, you know, whatever. She's not that chatty. Uh, also, what you could do, if you don't like that method to get to 147, is uh, use the fact that this is a multiple-choice test, and math is about finding truth. What that means to me is that if I'm given an equation... By the way, if you could do the solving equation things, you can turn your brain off for a little while. I'm going to talk to uh, somebody who doesn't want to do it that way. This statement says that 0.25 times x plus 36 should equal 72.75. I can use the fact that I'm given answer choices to find a statement that equals 72.75. So all I'm going to do is rewrite the equation, and instead of x, I'm going to put a parenthesis and plus 36. All I'm going to do now is plug in my answer choices and see if I can get one that equals the 72.75 or $72.75 that I'm looking for. So if I plug in 109 here, so just type into your calculator or whatever, uh, 0.25, parentheses 109, plus 36, and it equals 63.25, which does not mean the same thing as 72.75, so this is not the answer. Now if I do the same thing again, I'm going to try to make this a little smaller so I can not have to do so much rewriting. And in this case, I plug in 147. So I do 0.25 parentheses 147 plus 36. It will give me 72.75. If you plug in 255 or 291, both of those answers would give you um, values that are much greater than 72.75. And if we're going to plug in a number and have one side equal the other, that's a true statement to me. So either way is fine. You could use the fact that it's multiple choice against the state if you'd like to do that. Or if you'd just like to solve the equation because it's faster, that's okay too. Or maybe you just don't like clicking the calculator so much. Either way is fine. Uh, whatever emotional need that you have to do it to do that.